Sarah Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and you know we're gonna have fun today because I've got a huge mess on my table. Yes, we are gonna make spray inks. This has been requested so many times from my YouTube viewers, so today I'm gonna get it done. I wanna thank Paper Mart for sponsoring this video today, your best source for packaging and more. You can check them out online at www.papermart.com or click the link underneath this video if you're watching it in YouTube, and it'll take you right there and save you a little time typing in the whole address. You don't need to do that. Just click the link. It's easy. Okay, so these bottles come from Paper Mart, and um, when you buy them, they come like this. You get a bottle with a cap, and then you need to buy the sprayers. Now, you'll see the sprayers are a little longer because these will also fit the larger bottles that they sell, so that way you don't have to buy what you don't want. You get the bottle with a cap. If you need a sprayer, you buy a sprayer, so, um, so it's very convenient. Now, what I want to do is just trim this so it's a little bit shorter, and I want to trim it so that it's about a quarter of an inch above the bottom of my bottle so that when we make these shimmery sprays the mica isn't going to get stuck and clog up the bottom of that because it's all going to settle down to the bottom in between uses so you know just give yourself like a quarter of an inch to eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch there and cut it on an angle and that will make it easy for the um, for the ink to get up into the sprayers so what I want you to do is save these caps though, so when you make an order and you have all these caps, keep them, because I have an idea at the end of this video that you're just going to love. Alright, so what you want to do is fill your bottle about halfway with water. I know this is foolish, I'm pouring it for one, but I could have just stuck the sprayer in this bottle, oh well. Alright, and then you have a couple options for color. You can use food coloring, you could use Easter egg dye pellets, you can use reinker, but you'll probably end up using up a lot of reinker, and that's a little bit more expensive. Or you can use what I like, um, liquid watercolor. And um, if you're buying liquid watercolor for this project, a bottle's going to last you a long time. If you get yellow, turquoise, and magenta, those colors, you'll be able to make pretty much anything you want with those. Um, you can buy sampler. This was a sampler pack from Dick Blick that had, uh, it was like a classroom pack that had um, eight ounce bottles of ten different colors. And since I teach a lot of classes, I do go through it, so I bought that. But just for this application, if you're just getting it for that, I would just get the three colors and mix it up. Or they do make, I'm not sure if Dick Blick makes them, but some other companies will make the little tiny bottles and you can get an assortment for much less. Um, as for the sparkles, I just discovered the um, liquid watercolor, the iridescent and gold and pearl work really well for this. The silver's alright, but I think it's redundant. I think gold and pearl is pretty much all you need. Um, that works really well. I also found that the eyeshadow from the dollar store, the loose eyeshadow that comes in these little, um, these little bottles that have the brush inside, those are excellent for using for the spray inks because they're really, really finely ground. Um, I used to use Pearlex. And I found the micro pearl worked really well, but some didn't, like the copper was too chunky and it would clog up my sprayers. So um, I would just go to the dollar store and get that if you don't have access to the uh, iridescent liquid watercolor. Um, you never want to make this with acrylic paint because that will harden and ruin the spray bottles. So you want to make sure you keep it with a watercolor or a water-based medium. You could even squirt in a dab of... Um, look of just like a tube watercolor paint and that would work as well but these liquid watercolors are super concentrated and I'll show you what I mean they're just wonderful so I'm going to use a little of this turquoise and just squeeze some in and it's probably going to spill all over me so that's why I'm wearing dark splotchy clothes because the ink won't show alright now if I want to make this uh, I can leave it like this and just have a spray ink because it's kind of nice just to have the colors and then you can spray over it with you know just your glimmer um, but if I want to add the color, I think I would add um, some of that pearl, which I have conveniently located on my floor. Shake it up and squirt some in. And you don't need as much as you think. All right, now let me put my cap on here and give it a swirl and be able to see how lovely. Now, notice I'm not shaking it like that because if you do that, you're gonna you have a high chance of cramming those mica particles up in the sprayer and that little spring in there. You want to twirl it like you're ringing a bell. You're ringing a bell in church, folks. I've never rung a bell in church, but I, I don't know. You'll remember that. File it away, brain attic. You'll remember it. Now look at that. Can you see how swirly and pretty that is? All right. So let's spray it out and see how it looks. Now, if you want it darker, use less water. If you want it, um, if you want it more pastel, use more water. It's you know pretty, pretty easy concept. And I'm just going to spray this through a stencil. Now another tip is to your first couple sprays. Spray it on a scrap because they're going to be a little, little chunkier. And this is kind of going to be a pastel. Give it a couple sprays. I might want that a little darker now that I see it sprayed out. But see, i got a cute pattern there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me hold it a little closer. 
Ooh, can you see that? I have no idea. Hopefully you can. I want that a little darker, so what I'm going to do is add some more color. Now, if I wanted that more of an aqua color, I can add a little more, I can add a little yellow to that, or I could add, since I do have the whole kit, I could just add some green. I think I'll just do a little yellow since I don't want to be all hoity-toity with all my colors. Nothing worse than a hoity-toity crafter. All right, so I'm going to kind of make this aqua color. I like bright, personally, but if you prefer more of a pastel shade, then you can go with your pastels. The thing is, you, when you really, if you've got a lot of water in there, you're gonna it's going to take a, quite a few sprays to saturate your paper, and uh, it might wrinkle on you, so keep that in mind, too. All right, so I'm just going to spray this. Yeah, I think I need it. I want it brighter. I'm not going to want to put that much water on my paper. Take too long to dry. That's a little bit darker, and I could see, you know, and just keep adding as I go until I get just the shade that I want. Now these bottles come in a pack of a hundred, so and sort of the sprayers. So this would be a good time to gather up your girlfriends and say, "All right, I'm making an order to Paper Mart. What do you want?" And then you guys just order your stuff and divvy it up when it comes in. Um, it's also great if you do craft fairs and you want to buy packaging because you can get really affordable packaging that's super cute, great for presents and gift wrapping too. So keep all that stuff in mind. Keep your parties in mind when you place an order because you can, you know, buy it all at once and save quite a bit of money. All right, so I told you to save the caps, right? All right, so when you have the caps, uh, we don't need that bottle. You got the cap. What you want to do while you're at the dollar store buying your little shimmery eyeshadow, you want to pick up a package of makeup wedgies. I call them wedgies because it's a fun word. All right, so you fold your little wedgie in half. You put some glue on the top of the cap. I use hot glue, low temperature. And then just while it's folded, shove it in there. And you'll end up with a little ink spreader, just a cute little ink dauber. And here I have a bunch that I've already made and I've already used. And don't they look pretty in there? And they're so useful. And it keeps your fingers clean so you don't have to just fold a little makeup sponge all the time when you're trying to use your ink. So it keeps your hands clean. Not that I'd know, my hands are always a mess, but there you have it. Thanks so much to Paper Mart for sponsoring our video today. You can check them out online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.